wake up. Consciousness around you awakens. The world makes sense again. Take this softness that you fostered, this sweet gaze, and turn to someone next to you, give them a little snuggle. Maybe a stranger behind you, or in front of you. And it's gone. <laughs> Stay in your space, stay in your space, holy friend. So I want to introduce you. I want to introduce you to a new friend of ours, uh, Kobe, who's here with his wife. And who else is with you tonight? Okay. All right. And um, I met uh, Kobe where I meet all my friends at funerals. <laughs> I only get let out for funerals. So the, um, we connected immediately and uh, we've been you know, diving a little bit together here and there. And so he has reawakened within us, within me, my family, some of the sweet nagunim that we used to sing. And he's going to lead us in one tonight. We're going to try and bring Idi Nefesh back to Shabbos a little bit. You know, just by, verse by verse. So please give a good Shabbos to uh, our new friend. <laughs> his wife, Terry. have this on the uh, PowerPoint, but we'll get it. I, we just thought of this this morning. <laughs>
But on Shabbos, it becomes a new song. We say what? Shalom Rav. We say great peace is upon us. And not just for us, but Tassim Olam. It's given to the world. Because we say, you know, we share this world with others. It's not just for us to pray only for Israel. When we pray for the world, then Israel is included, and when we pray for the world, the world prays for Israel and us as well. It's important to be inclusive in our songs for peace. Can I have a l'chaim? L'chaim!
Shabbos. Come forward for candle lighting on Shabbos. Come. Annie. Annie. Lights, color, action. <laughs>